Here we go. Spit it, spit it. So this, um, I think, I think this poem. This is brand new. I just finished the revision today. Uh, I think this poem is called "Epic Tale of Love in Tucson." Woo! I love Tucson. They came from two different sides of town, from two powerful families. Each family a legend in Tucson. On the one side, you had the days when it got so hot. On the other side, you had the days when it got too hot. On the days in Tucson when the heat is a sixth sense, a searing hello of morning breath, a middle finger in your armpit, Tucson has no choice but to turn to one family or to turn to the other for relief. On those days in Tucson, it's either got to be an EG's or raspado. And these two families, they stay locked in a constant give and take. It is like the apex of an arm wrestle. It is a keystone duopoly. Es un negocio bien chingón y un mercado bien repartidito. Yes, these two families, they hold the city in a constant cold war of hearts and palates of Tucson during the summertime, a war that got suddenly hotter. One 100 degree day in October, when it finally happened. When the two star past lovers finally met and her deep cool stare met his frozen brow. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of the day that the Raspado and the EGs fell in love. <laughs> Downright cold. They came from two different worlds, each holding their straw wrists together. Yes, the EGs fell in love with the Raspado, and the Raspado for the EGs, and the EGs for the Raspado. Sus familias no estaban de acuerdo, pero los amantes se juraban que eran de una nueva generación que no sería marcado por el odio. No, no había manera de deshacer el amor. No, even if miscegenation laws had tried to ban such unions in Arizona. Because love does not believe in gender. Especially the gender of frozen drinks. And anyway, why should we believe the tortilla chips when they tell us that gender is like them? Cut and dry. Oh. No. Damn. Yeah. Woo. It was a hot ass afternoon on oh. West Saint Mary's. Preach. Preach. Where, Preach. By the way, there is an EG's less than a block from Donde Ras Los Raspados. Just wanted to throw that out there. There they were. Their eyes met, and they began condensating profusely, oh. staring into each other's cups. Swooning through styrofoam, derritiendo con el deseo, their love burned, and they melted. It was still over a hundred degrees in October, but it was not the heat. They were in love, de verdad. So on Saturdays, they laid in Santa Rita Park, holding hands. That one park where Armory Park neighborhood meets the hood. On Sundays, they laid in Esteban Park, playing Kissy Face, where Dunbar Spring meets Barrio Anita. Sometimes, they'd climb Tumamac together. And then, they'd get winded and drink themselves, even before they reached the top or the sunset was over. Their bond was so tight, ladies and gentlemen, railroad tracks couldn't come between them. Uh -huh. Their adobe love stood so strong that even a TCC parking lot could not pave them Word! over. Word! Word! Their unity was so united, together they both made fun of the $5 smoothie place downtown. <laughs> Offering bougie ingredients like spirulina, ha, nutrition, ha, 
So Raspado and the EGs had no time for such seriousness because they were in love. And their love was long like lines at the yeah. liquor store drive through Los dos eran de Tucson, Tucsonenses de verdad. No cruzaron la frontera, la frontera los les saboreó. Bueno, dice que el, el EGs nació después de un intento fallido de un, unos gringos a hacer un shaved ice in the back of a trailer, pero no importa. Eran de por aquí, caray. The feud between their families was nothing compared to their love. Together, they protested the health department. They spoke truth to the school board, asking for both of their histories to be taught in the classroom. They saw what their families could not that they were being divided and conquered by the ruling elite who only wanted to overlay a phoenix paid by the ounce yogurt joint right on top of their familias both. But most of all, amigos, wherever they slushed, they dreamed. See, sí, amigos, como soñaban of a day when the rompope could stomp with the strawberry, when the beso de angel could smooch with the lemonade, when the watermelon could walk with the tamarindo, when the jungle juice would quit being such a frat boy cliche a-hole, when the iced tea G's could bounce con el café, when the cocoa could hold the hand of the black strawberry. Yes. Of the day yes. they dreamed of the day when an EG's piña colada could marry a piña colada raspado. Yes. Yes. And they dreamed in solidarity with all dreamers. They came from two different families, from two different sides of town, until love opened their eyes and they started to see EGs and Raspalo joints everywhere except for the foothills. They loved, <laughs> they opened their eyes, and they realized that only in Tucson could these two sides meet. Only on 22nd Street could the tuna salad put down its fists and embrace the carne asada as the lengua caught with the roast beef. Yes, only in Tucson, where we like our iced drinks so complex that we have to eat them with a spoon. Oh, we shit. like our mestizaje cool and naturally flavored. Yes, we are in Tucson. We stand with the forbidden love of the Raspado and the EGs. We choose to celebrate the EGs and the Raspado both. We are Arizona. Yes, there is a hate, but it's a dry hate. <laughs> and we will quench that hate as only a Raspigis can. <laughs> Slippy, wanna be drink? No! Rapidis! Si! Que viva el amor! Viva! Que viva los amantes! Viva! And long live! El Raspidis! Oh.